Good morning, friends. Just a couple of days ago, we celebrated Easter, and Easter, of course, brings to us the promise that not only is Christ risen, but we also may be uh, risen in him. The scriptures say to us, if anyone is in Christ, he or she is a new creation, and the old has passed away, and the new has come. There is a favorite author of mine named Bruce Larson, a Presbyterian pastor, and he tells a story in one of his books about the time when his little six-year-old boy had begun, for some reason, uh, sucking his thumb. And uh, his mom and dad tried every which way to get him to stop sucking his thumb, but nothing seemed to work. And finally, they decided to try to shame him out of sucking his thumb, so they nicknamed him Thumb Sucker. And every time the little boy put his thumb to his mouth, out came the epithet Thumb Sucker. Uh, that, uh, however, did not change his, his behavior. Well, maybe I should say it did change his behavior. It, it got worse. What had once been a happy, carefree little boy with squared shoulders and a laughing face had now become a sloop-shouldered little boy with face to the ground and a frown, and the, uh, the incessant drumming into him of the phrase, thumbsucker, thumbsucker, thumbsucker. Bruce Larson says one day he was in his bedroom praying, and he felt the Lord speaking to him, not in an audible voice, but in the quiet way that the Lord speaks to us in our hearts when we pray. And he had this conversation with the Lord. The Lord said something to him like, uh, Bruce, is this the little boy you prayed to have? Yes, Lord. Well, are you happy with him? Well, yes, Lord. Well, if you're happy with him, why are you calling him thumbsucker? And Bruce Larson said, I felt I didn't have any answer to that at all. He said, I felt the Lord say to me, I did not give you a thumbsucker. I gave you a wonderful little boy, and I want you to call him that. So right then and there, Bruce Larson decided to rename his boy. And when he came out of the house, his boy was sucking his thumb as usual, and Bruce picked him up and hugged him and kissed him and looked him in the eye and said, Hi, Mr. Wonderful. How are you? The boy at first really registered no response. But never again did Bruce Larson or his wife call their little boy Thumbsucker. They continued to call him Mr. Wonderful. And it was only a matter of time until the thumbsucking had dropped away altogether. You see, the boy did not have the power to give himself a new identity. A new identity was a gift from a greater to a lesser, from the parent to the child. In the same way, our identity as a Christian is not something we can give ourselves. It is an identity that is given to us if we ask Jesus to give us a new heart, a new mind, and a new spirit. That's what Easter is all about, Christ in you, Christ who lives in us so that we become far better than we know. Because, you see, it's not in the long run our vision of ourselves that counts. It's his vision of us. He looks at us through eyes of belief and faith. Have you caught his vision for you today?